Okay, so I've talked a lot about pre-trips. So now I'm gonna go through it. I have this handy dandy guide of papers to help me um, in case I forget stuff. I'm going to be saying my actions and what I'm looking for. So like if I'm at the front of the truck, I'm gonna be telling you where I'm at on the vehicle. Okay, so I'm approaching the truck and I'm looking at the front of the truck. I'm checking for leaks, leans, which would indicate bad suspension or a flat tire, making sure that the truck isn't leaning to one side or the other, that the trailer isn't leaning to one side or the other. I'm also checking my lights. I'm making sure that my headlights aren't cracked, damaged, or missing, and that they're the appropriate color. I'm checking my clearance lights. I'm making sure that they're not cracked, damaged, or missing, and that they're the appropriate color. Then I'm walking to the driver's door. I'm pulling out the, the hood, opening up the hood. I go to the passenger side. I'm checking my coolant reservoir. I'm making sure that the coolant level is at the appropriate area and that the reservoir isn't cracked, damaged, or leaking. I'm also checking the coolant hoses. I'm making sure that the hoses aren't cracked, damaged, or leaking. Now I'm checking the water pump. I'm making sure that the water pump is mounted securely and it's not cracked, damaged, or leaking. It's belt driven, so I'm checking the belt. I'm making sure that the belt isn't cut or frayed and that it has no more than a half inch to three quarter inch of play. I'm checking the frame. I'm making sure that there are no illegal drill holes or welds and that it's not bent or damaged, bent or cracked. I'm going to the driver's side. I'm checking the oil level. I'm making sure that it's full and that there is no water or metal shavings inside the oil. Then I'm checking the air compressor. I'm making sure that it's mounted securely and that it's not crack damaged or leaking. It is gear driven. I'm checking the power steering pump. I'm making sure that it's not cracked, damaged, or leaking. And it's also gear, gear driven. I'm checking the alternator. I'm making sure that it's mounted securely, not cracked, damaged, and that it's not missing any bolts. It's belt driven, so I'm making sure that the belt isn't cut or frayed and that it has no more than a half inch to three quarter inch of play. I'm checking the power steering hoses and the reservoir making sure that it's mounted securely and that it's not crack damaged or leaking. I'm checking the power steering gearbox. I'm making sure that it's mounted securely and that it's not crack damaged or leaking. I'm checking the steering linkage. I'm making sure that it's not bent, damaged, there's no missing castle nuts or quarter pins. Then I'm checking the suspension, which is by the tires, obviously. I'm checking the front and back leaf spring hangers. I'm making sure that they're not cracked, damaged, or missing any bolts. So your leaf spring hangers are around your tire, further away from it than like right there on the tire. Then I'm checking the leaf springs. I'm making sure that they're not crack damaged or scissored and that they're mounted securely. I'm also checking the U-bolts, which are around the leaf springs. I'm making sure that they're mounted securely, not crack damaged or missing. I'm checking the shock absorber, making sure that it's mounted secure, not cracked, damaged or leaking. Um, I'm checking the brakes. I'm checking the brake chamber. I'm making sure 
that it's mounted securely, not cracked, damaged, leaking, that there's no missing or loose clamps. I'm checking the brake hoses. I'm making sure that they're not cracked, damaged, or leaking. I'm checking the slack adjuster. I'm making sure that it's mounted securely and that there's no more than one inch of play with the brakes released and the wheels chalked. I'm checking the push rod. I'm making sure that it's at a 90 degree angle, which indicates proper adjustment and that it's not bent or damaged. I'm also checking the brake drum, which is inside the tire. I'm making sure that there's no oil or debris and that it's not cracked, damaged, and that there's no discoloration, which would indicate overheating. I'm also checking the brake shoes, which are in the drum. I'm making sure that they're not oil soaked, that there's no less than a quarter inch of pad on the shoe, and that they're not cracked or damaged. Now I'm gonna check the tires. I'm looking at the sidewalls of the tires, making sure that there's no abrasion cuts or bulges. I'm making sure that there's even tread and that the depth of the tread is no less than 430 seconds on the steers. Check with a gauge. I'm also making sure that the pressure is at 100 PSI or manufacturer specs. Check with a gauge. Um, I'm checking the wheels. I'm making sure that there's no damage to the bead, which is around the tie, around the wheel. Um, I'm making sure that it's not bent, damaged, and that there's no spider webbed cracking in between the vent holes and the lug nut hole, holes. I'm also making sure that there no uh, that there's no illegal welds. Now I'm checking the lug nuts. I'm making sure that there's no shiny threading, rust, rust trails, or black soot on aluminum wheels, which would indicate looseness. I'm also making sure that they're not damaged or missing. I'm checking the valve stem. I'm making sure that it's not cracked or damaged and that it has a metal cap. I'm checking the hub seal. I'm making sure that it's mounted securely and that it's not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Now I'm going to go to the driver's door and I'm going to ensure that the driver's door opens and closes properly. Then I'm gonna open it again and I'm gonna check the seal. I'm gonna make sure that the seal is not cracked or damaged. Then I'm going to check the hinges. I'm gonna make sure that they're not bent or damaged. I'm gonna check the window. I'm gonna make sure that it goes up all the way and down all the way. Then I'm gonna check the mirror. I'm gonna make sure that it's mounted securely, that it's not cracked, damaged, or missing. Um, then I'm gonna check the fuel tanks, both the DEF and the fuel tanks. I'm gonna check the caps. I'm gonna make sure that they're on securely and that they don't leak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the tanks themselves. I'm gonna make sure that they are mounted securely and that they're not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Then I'm gonna check the hangers of the fuel tanks. I'm gonna make sure that they're not cracked, damaged, or missing. Um, and that they're, they're secure. Then I'm gonna get inside the cap. Inspector, would you please assist me and would you please walk to the front of the truck and assist me in doing a light inspection? Okay, and then four ways. Yup, right turn left turn, marker lights, low beams, high beams, clearance, inspector, would you please check the rear of my tractor? And while you are walking over there, please check my left blinker by my driver door. Yep, okay. 
Now, brake lights, four ways. Left turn, right turn. Um, markers. Inspector, will you please help me inspect the side of my trailer? On your way there, will you please check my left turn signal on my trailer? Yep. All right, now to the rear of the trailer. Left turn, right turn, brake lights, marker, clearance. Uh, four ways. Okay, now the, the examiner comes into the truck and this is when you're supposed to do like your air brake test. So first, I'm going to check my seatbelt. Grab my seatbelt, I make sure that it latches and unlatches properly. I'm going to look at it. I'm gonna make sure that it's not cut or frayed. Then I'm gonna put it back on. And at this time, I'm going to ask the inspector to put their seatbelt on. So examiner, would you please put on your seatbelt? Okay, now I'm going to do a safe start. So I'm gonna put the truck in neutral, engage the clutch, make sure that the brakes are set, and I'm gonna start the engine. I'm looking at the dash. I'm making sure that the ABS light comes on and off. It has to come off. If it does not come off, that means that your ABS lights are engaged and that there is something wrong with your brakes. Then I'm going to be checking the oil gauge. I'm gonna make sure that it rises to the proper level. I'm gonna be checking the temperature gauge. I'm gonna make sure that it rises to the proper level. I'm gonna be checking the air gauge, I'm gonna make sure that it rises to 120 to 140 PSI. Then I'm going to check my voltmeter. I'm gonna make sure that it's between 12 to 14 volts. I'm gonna check my turn signal indicators, left, right, four ways. Then I'm gonna check my high beam and my low beams. I'm gonna check my wiper blades and my washers. While I'm checking my wipers, I'm going to ensure that they are not torn, cracked, damaged, and I'm gonna check the windshield. I'm gonna make sure that the windshield is not cracked, damaged, and that there are no illegal stickers. Um, then I'm gonna check the heater, which is underneath, I have to put I have to turn the heater on to the foot, check underneath, turn on the defrost, check above, make sure that there's air coming out and that it is hot. Then I'm gonna check the horns. I'm gonna check the city horn, beep beep. Then I'm gonna check the air horn, boom boom 